Okay, so a match requested build, the ultimate shock trains on the Pathfinder. Now, I did do a live stream, uh, you know, with the ultimate shock trains on the ultimate Balkazari. If you happen to miss that live stream, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Um, but yeah, we're going to try this build out. So I think it's actually going to do really well. Uh, 500 meter range on these weapons, six second reload time. So I have the following modules here. I was kind of debating on whether to go, uh, you know, double nuclear amplifier with a last stand or even uh, double repair amps. Um, so I settled for the uh, immune amps. Going to try it out. Uh, the second game, because I am going to run two games, I might mix things up. And I do want to try also the Pascal drone. Uh, but here is the Friezo. Okay, so for the first game, we're going to run it, uh, you know, the Friezo on the Pathfinder. And the second game, I'm thinking maybe Pascal. Either Pascal or Seeker. Okay, so here are the pilot skills. Now, I do have the Power Man uh, shock train on here. So my shock trains are going to charge up a lot faster. Okay, and for the mothership, I have the Avalon. So here is the Avalon with the following turrets. And uh, we're going to run two games. First game is going to have the immune amps and the freezer drone. Uh, second game is going to have uh, the Pascal. I'm not sure yet about the modules. I may use double nuclear amplifier in the last stand. Uh, actually, the second game, I might go with the Seeker. We'll see. We need to try to get uh, the center beacon there. Hold up. Oh my gosh, that guy is almost dead. I'm not even charged here. Oh, that was a tear. Yeah, we got that guy. There is a guy at center though. Oh no, he got killed. Uh-oh. Did I get him? There we go. I'm, I just got to be careful. They have a uh, Crisis Reaper back there. Okay, we're going to move this way. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good. Okay, I did hit him a bit. Okay, there we go. Whew. I took on a lot of damage. We need to get this guy in front of us. Hold up. Rampage! Behind us. We need to uh, help our team here. Um, let's get this guy. Got him. Man, this build is insane. This is better than the bulk Azari, I think. We gotta move this way. Got him. Living legend. Come on. You know what? If I hit one of these guys, like this one here. Wait, what? I wasn't able to get him. I think because of the lag. There we go. Wait, these guys... Oh, wait, they got the center. I did not see that. This guy... There we go. I'm in a really bad spot here. Guys, I need help. Oh, shoot. Yes. This guy. Oh, my gosh. How did I survive that? I got to get out of here. Oh, I'm trying to run here. We gave up our home beacon. That's the thing. Yo. Yes, Rampage! <laughs> we gotta get that beacon back, quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yikes! Oh my gosh. Where is this guy? I can't even see him. I got totally shredded up. Man, that was a crazy run. I think if my team didn't give up, 
the beacon on this side, I think... I think we could have done a lot more damage. Just trying to get this guy here. Nice. That was a really good run with that Pathfinder, though. That thing is crazy strong. I think that might be stronger, actually, than the... Uh, the Balkazari. There we go. I think, you know what, for the second game, I'm really tempted to run the Seeker instead. I've been seeing so many links and Crisis that it almost makes more sense to run that. Oof, I don't know if I can get close enough to this guy, maybe. He's backing all the way. <laughs> at the back of the map there man dude you're on uh, canyon map there come on come on got him there we go yes he may drop in over here no he didn't he didn't holy jeez that's a lot of wait I'm gonna have to uh, help my buddy here that's a lot of Indra's Try to do this. Oh man, I got killed. <laughs> they had all their titans there. Uh, ooh. Let's use this. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's one thing. Some players have asked me, is the counter to the raptor? The Ocho. Because you see what that guy did? That's going to help. He can't heal that. Let's just do this. And now. There we go. And I think that is going to be game. That was kind of crazy though. I honestly thought I was going to lose that uh, Pathfinder a lot sooner. Okay, so we did 6.4 million, 18 kills, 3 beacons, and that's how we stacked up. So I decided to go with the uh, Seeker drone because of all the uh, the links and stuff. Hey, there's one here. Let's get this guy. Oh my gosh, one shot. That was a Typhon. We need to get into center. This guy's gonna land over there, and... I think he knows. He knows that I'm on this side. Yeah, they're going to get the center. I can't get the center. Where is my team? They're on... Okay, they're on that side. I'm just going to keep on hitting him because it's going to hit um, nearby players as well. So we're going to do that. Wait, did I get both of them? I think I got both of them. Uh-oh. Oh no, he just dropped in. He's almost dead. Wow. Okay, wait. Triple kill. You know what? I think he's going to drop in again. I have a feeling he may do that. I'm waiting for someone to drop in here. There we go. Rampage. I'm using the, the center beacon as a... Uh, Ooh, as bait. Because they may drop in here. They need to get, uh, they need to protect the center beacon. Okay, we're going to move this way. I wonder if I can get this beacon here. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Perfect. Honestly, this build is far deadlier than the uh, the Balkazari, I think. The thing with the Balkazari, though, you can dash and you have a physical shield, which is really nice. Yeah, I think this game's going to be over really soon here. I don't want to get another beacon. These guys aren't dropping in. Okay, we're going to do that. 
Can't do anything. There we go. They may drop in over here, but they're... I don't know. There's only like four guys. Wait, what does this guy have? Wait, I missed. Uh-oh. Maybe we can hit this guy and then it will bounce off him and hit the other guy. Oh, you know what? I got lagged there. So sometimes it looks like your damage doesn't register if there's like lag. So you kind of got to be careful of that. I think that might have hit some of them because it advances. I'm gonna back away a bit. Whoa! Wait, that's an Indra! My teammate may wanna, like, yeah, he may wanna back up. Man, this does a lot of damage, even to Titans. Ah, he had his reflector shield up. I was looking at how much damage I was going to take, actually. Whew. Okay, we're going to do that. Titan Slayer! Yeah, I don't want to hit this guy. He's trying to bend the, the bullets <laughs> around the corner. Oh, shoot! What's funny is it automatically turned towards him because that's, um, you know, what these weapons do. Yikes. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. He's definitely in trouble. Yep. Titan Slayer. That's brutal. I can only imagine a squad of these. Jeez, you're never getting out of your spawn. Where is this guy? Ooh, you know what? I don't know if he took the full damage there. We got a godlike. Oh man, no! Spaceship. We got him, we got him, we got him. Lost stand. This is gonna be game here. And that is going to be game. One more shot. <laughs> I don't know if I got the other guy that was hiding there. But uh, yeah, a brutal build here. Um, I definitely think this is stronger than the uh, Balkazari. Um, the nice thing about the Balkazari though is that you can get out of harm's way because of the dashes. Um, but otherwise, this is how we did. Okay, so just a couple of thoughts here on the Pathfinder. So between this build and the Ultimate Balkazari, I think this build is far deadlier. Um, but I do like having the dashes and the physical shield of the, uh, you know, Balkazari. Now, out of the games I played, I think the biggest threat to me was probably the Kiri with Subduers. Um, but if I got too close to something like, say, a Shenlo with the Tesla weapons, I could also go down very quickly. So you kind of have to be careful uh, keeping your distance uh, if you are going to be running a build like this. Now, um, as far as, you know, other builds outside of the Curie and the Shenlo, um, I would say uh, any build that has the Rust weapons because not being able to heal up makes a world of a difference as far as, uh, you know, if I'm in this bot, I can't heal. Okay, so if I can't heal, chances are I'm probably going to go down very quickly or lose a weapon you know so uh, if you have any of the rust weapons even if it's mk1 level one um i would say use it on your bot just so that you can apply that effect uh because having that effect makes a world of a difference guys you've got to understand like if you're going up against something like an archo a raptor um a curie you know the pathfinder any of these meta bots having the rust is going to counter them Okay, so hopefully this was able to help you guys in terms of countering it or uh, deciding, you know, between this and the bulk of Zari. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.